Hello, and welcome to the Ohio Arts Council's Rife Gallery. This is the On the Grid Exhibition's DIY Creative Writing Workshop. Today, we're going to explore ekphrastic poetry as an extension of the exhibition, while our facilitator, poet and writer, Sayuli Errors, will walk you through her prompts inspired by the exhibition step-by-step. Step. Please note that there will be dedicated pause points in the video, so you can work at your own pace and use it as you need. All right, welcome, Sayuli. Thank you, Kat. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Sayuli Matsur Ayers. I'm a poet and nonfiction writer from Columbus, Ohio. I wanted to thank the Ohio Arts Council's Rife Gallery and Kat Sheridan for this opportunity to facilitate this creative writing workshop inspired by the Rife Gallery's exhibition On the Grid. During our session, we will explore the exhibition, reflect on how we can respond to visual art, and create some written pieces inspired by seven artworks from On the Grid. The exhibition represents a wide range of artwork, including film, photography, installation, textiles, ceramic, painting, drawing, sculpture, performance, product design, glass, found materials, and much more. On the grid artists come from diverse backgrounds, from emerging to established, rural to urban based, outside to mainstream. Each artist explores the visual and conceptual grid in their work. As a whole, this exhibition explores the thematic and conceptual intersections between artists' interpretations of the grid. Before we start exploring this exhibit and writing some pieces um, in response to the artist's work, let's take a moment to gather our materials. First, find your favorite writing instrument. It could be your laptop, a journal, a sketchbook, some loose paper, or whatever you need. Any, anything is great. Just make sure you have enough room to fill up a few pages. As writers, visual art can spark an inspiration to create a piece of our own, including poetry, nonfiction, and fiction. A written piece that's inspired by visual art is called ekphrastic writing. Though our ekphrastic writing may be responding to a visual element in an artist's piece, our piece goes beyond the artwork. Our writing may explore how an artwork connects with us personally. Does an artwork spark in memory? How does this artwork make us feel? As writers, we may explore how a certain artwork connects to the larger world. How is this artwork a reflection of society and culture? How does this artwork change the way we see the world? Visual art has a profound effect on the viewer. When we look at visual art, it creates an emotional and an intellectual response. As writers, we can think deeply about how visual art affects us. Think about the questions that are on the screen and take 10 minutes to write a response to one or two of these questions. You can think about what kind of visual art excites you. How does visual art affect the way you think or feel? What type of visual art do you know the most about? What type would you like to know more about? How have you been inspired by visual art? What did you write? What would you like to write now? Let's take 10 minutes to reflect and write. The first piece we will explore is Ileana Pezzanati's work titled Ray. Pezzanati's photograph features the outside of an old building that has boarded up windows and doors. Looking at this photograph, we can imagine who used to inhabit this space. Who used to look out those windows? Who is looking out of those windows now? Our first prompt responds to Pezzanetti's photo. Create a piece about returning to a place that is now abandoned. Who used to inhabit this space? What kind of marks did they leave behind? As you write, make sure to include how this place looks, smells, sounds, and feels now. 
and also what it was like in the past. Let's take 10 minutes to write here. The second piece we will explore is Marissa English Campbell's Holly. If you look carefully at Campbell's work, you will see that he, she has woven strands into the image. Campbell experiments with the idea of personal transformation and how life experience can change who we are. Here's a second prompt based on Campbell's stunning piece. Reflect on who you are now and who you were 10 years ago. Write a piece based on your present self and your past self. How have you transformed? How would you like to, how have you stayed the same? Include specific details of your past and present selves. You think, can think about your physical appearance, where you lived, what you liked or disliked, who you cared about. Let's take 10 minutes to write. Let's move on to Peter Christian Johnson's sculpture, Spill. Johnson experiments with porcelain frames, which he heats up at high temperatures in a kiln. These pieces warp and melt, creating a sense of unpredictability. Johnson explores with the idea of how extreme conditions can lead to transformation. Here's a prompt based on Johnson's evocative piece. Think about an event that was challenging. Write about this event. How did this event transform you? What did you learn? How did this event change your perspective of yourself or the world? Let's take 10 minutes to write here. In the fourth prompt, we'll explore Heather Jones's I Built My Life Around You. If you look closely at Johnson's piece, Jones's piece, you'll see that it is not a painting, but pieces of fabric that have been sewn together. Jones's highlights the theme of creative work done by unnamed women. Here is your prompt based on Jones's theme. Write a piece about a significant woman in your life. What did she create or make? How did her creation affect you? As you write, include two colors in your piece. Let's take 10 minutes to write here. Our next prompt is inspired by Barbara Bryn Clare's Red Blue Line. Red Blue Line is a pencil drawing of a piece of unraveling fabric that is vulnerable but holds a ragged strength. Red Blue Line reminds me about relationships. When conflicts occur, relationships can start to unravel. What causes conflict and how can relationships be repaired after conflict? Or should relationships be repaired at all? Here are two prompts inspired by Red Blue Line. Feel free to choose the ones that may most interest you. In the first prompt, you can think of an old piece of fabric, blanket, or clothing. What would it look like to repair this object? What would it look like to unravel it even further? Or you can also think of a situation that has caused a conflict. Write about the effects of this conflict and how or if this situation should be resolved. Let's take 10 minutes to write here. The next piece we'll explore is Analog by Gina Osterlo. Osterlo experiments with the idea of flatness and volume and illusion and reality. Analog is a flat image that looks like a looks three-dimensional. It gives the illusion of a real cage or room. Here is a prompt inspired by analog. Think of a room you spend a lot of time in. Describe how this room looks, feels, and sounds. Write a piece about leaving this room behind. How would you feel? 
Who or what would you miss? What would you do afterwards? Let's take 10 minutes to write here. The last piece we will explore is Josie by Robert C. Banks Jr. Banks has a background in cinema and photography. He also has a strong passion for building an inspiring community. In Josie 3, we see a photograph of a woman who is looking directly at the audience. She looks strong and determined. Here's a prompt inspired by Josie 3. Think about a time when you took a radical stand for yourself or someone else. Write a piece about how this time transformed you. Include details of what you saw, heard, or felt that made you make the stand. Let's take 10 minutes to write here. During our time together, we have explored seven artworks from the Reif Gallery's 2024 exhibit, On the Grid. We have written expressive pieces inspired by these artworks and have seen the connection of art and writing to ourselves and the world. Before we end our time together, here are a few questions to consider. How have these exercises changed the way you interact with visual art? How will visual art inspire you in the future? What next steps will you like to take with the pieces you have created today? Thank you so much for joining our workshop inspired by the Reif Galleries on the grid. Please feel free to keep in touch. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks again for joining us for this DIY creative writing workshop led by Sayuli Ayers as a part of our programming for the On the Grid exhibition. I'd like to give a special thank you to Sayuli for the generosity of her time and talent, to our curator, the participating artists, as well as the Ohio Arts Council's board, the Ohio legislature, and the governor who support the Ohio Arts Council, this great space, and of course, Ohio artists. Thanks everyone and have a great day.